is Sunday, September 11th, and we are here at Epcot checking out the sum of all thrills. This attraction, uh, along with, I think it's called Stormstruck, is closing uh, next week. And we have never done either of these things. So some of all thrills is a roller coaster simulator where you design the track layout and then you do a crane, like a capsule at the end of a crane arm, like that. A little bit of trivia, that is what uh, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey is. Except the crane arm is not on a track. We have like an hour until Interventions closes and we want to get two things done. So we're going to get in line and design our coaster. Let's go do that. It just looks like the stuff that they put up on screen in The Hangover when Zach Galvanakis <laughs> is doing the map to do counting cards. Right. Come on, let's say hello to our talented group of up-and-coming engineers who are about to design their very own thrill rides. <laughs> Take a look at our engineering station. First, choose the type of ride you want to design, then customize your design using these cool tools. This tricked out ruler here lets you change the height or width of each part. Oh, and, and this knob will let you change the speed. Let's see what happens when I push it to the max. Uh, meet Crash, another one of the tools you'll be using. He's our test bot to help you preview your ride and to make sure it's going to work the way you planned. Uh, Crash, you okay? Yeah! Do us proud, engineers. You'll do great. And remember, control the math, control the thrill. Thanks, Grace. Now, choose your vehicle. They range from mild to wild. Yeah. Touch the maneuver you want to design first. Now we use the ruler to customize your maneuver. Place the ruler in the front. You can drag the yellow button to adjust the maneuver like this. Slide the button up or down to adjust the maneuver shape. Ready to test, Crash? Crash is ready to go. Press the test button to test the maneuver. Jet too slow. Pick up the knob. Place the knob in the speed circle. Turn the knob to make the jet go faster. Crash will test your changes when you press the test button. Oh god. Alright. <laughs> That's just the kind of thing you would never actually ride. No, god never. Um, now there's two rectangles to put the ruler in. Great! Pick your third maneuver. I'm gonna throw up on this. <laughs> 50 seconds. Great job! Now that you've calibrated the system, you can set aside the tools. All you need to do is pick your maneuvers. Pick your final maneuver. What do you want to end with? You can pick the last one. Half pipe. Your jet flight path is complete. That's insane. This design goes upside down. Are you okay with that? Now we get to name your design. Okay. Um, you can name it. What do you want to name it? The Stealth Tornado. Where do you see Stealth? Stealth. Where? It starts with an S. Oh. <laughs> because Stealth Tornado is stupid. Tornado. It make no sense. Stealth Tornado. <laughs> Press the upload button to upload. Oh man, excited? We're taking all the thrills and we're adding them all together. Yeah, and we're gonna go upside down. And we're gonna get the sum of all thrills. Yeah. Is it all the thrills or is it just some of them? I'm sorry. Yeah. 
So that was pretty cool. It's the first time I've done it. That was interesting. I'm not gonna. Whoa, oh the sun. Okay. Look how white I am right now. But it was interesting. I'm not gonna miss it when it's gone. Right. <laughs> oh, I'm struck. Ready for the storm? No. Well, you better be. Do you have your safety goggles? No. Well, you're about to die then. Okay, well, we're getting ready for this. So we got here too late, but this is like the play area and kind of like science center -y exhibits area. That was Stormstruck. We didn't get to film any of it for you guys because it was like a 3D show where they popped water at you and whatnot. But it was, I thought I was expecting it to be like, like what were you expecting, Matt? I wasn't expecting it to be interactive and the fact that it was interactive is actually pretty cool. Yeah, I was uh, expecting it to be like, I guess a video version of Twister. Yeah. From Hollywood City, or from the which, uh, Universal. Which parts of it were. Yeah, right? uh-huh. Yeah, but it was really cool. Like at the end, it took you through like, so the first thing it did was it kind of took you through a storm and you can see what would and would not survive in a storm. And then the second part was um, a cast member kind of talking through two options and the group got to vote on like how you would build your house to be ready for a storm. And then you got, went through a storm to kind of test it out to see what survived. It was really cool. Bummed we didn't get to walk through any like the science center-y type exhibits, but that's okay. Um, it seemed like it was more geared towards children anyway, but that is the sum of all thrills and Stormstruck. So they close on the 14th and today's a lot the 11th. So it's only got a couple days left. We were talking to a cast member and they, she says she, they're not sure what they're gonna do with the space yet, but Colotopia is still open. So everything else in there is closed except for Colotopia. So we're sitting outside Innovations right now, but I think our game plan is gonna be Club Cool in Spaceship Earth. Nice quick little trip to Epcot, make sure we hit this stuff. Since we're busy the rest of the week, wouldn't be able to make it here. Want to make sure we did it at least once before it closed. So let's go play in Club Cool. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. What is, what is that? I don't, I don't, I don't know what that is. Do you know what Aaliyah salt is? I want popcorn. No, but I like salt, so I'll eat it. So if this was like kettle corn with Epsom salts, you'd eat it? That's probably not good. <laughs> so we are hanging out here in Club Cool. Jen likes to get shots of the drink that we can get from Target five minutes away from our yeah, house. It's free here. Pineapple Fanta. But it's I, free here. Yeah. Do you see the little Mickey cup? That's so cute. Like I didn't I've never noticed that before. It's like a little souvenir cup you can get like slushies in. Yeah, it's like they brand stuff with Mickey ears a lot. Oh, oh, oh I'm Matt and I'm so clever. So yeah, they have a lot of different uh, popcorn options. I more like the goofy candies and whatnot over there too. Yes. I don't know what confetti tastes like. <laughs> if anyone wants to enlighten me on what confetti tastes like in the comments, that would be educational. I feel like confetti is paper, it's colored paper, so... Maybe it's like sprinkles? Like it's just sugary? Which sprinkles don't taste like anything, and I continue to argue that sprinkles are nothing. Sprinkles are worth You're nothing. less than nothing. You're worth less than nothing. I'm okay. Sriracha kettle corn sounds pretty awesome. Yeah. I've refilled this cup so many times, it's losing its shape. I need to get a new one. It's like dissolving. The cups are free. <laughs> you can get as many cups as you want here. It's going to be environmental. Oh, okay. <laughs> Spaceship Earth o'clock. I can smell it. Yeah. I can smell it already. Yeah. Uh, it takes 15,000 years to come up with the next bright idea. Recording our knowledge on Kate Wall. It takes 15,000 years to come up with the next bright idea. The recording right. knowledge Antlers is on our heart. <laughs> Remember how easy it was to learn your ABCs? Thank 
the Phoenicians. They invented them. It turns out there are copies of some of these books in the libraries of the Middle East, being watched over by Arab and Jewish scholars. Call it the first backup system. The books are saved, and with them are dreams of the future. Florence, though. Invent the future in every field. Great movie ride flashbacks, though. Computer. Hey, look at them stairs. But they're as big as a house. <laughs> that guy's been doing that job for a long time. It has one of these amazing machines in the room. It's just one problem. And as big as a house. The sound is coming. Let's have some fun creating the future, shall we? The city will be a great place to work. It's a state of office. Number. That looks nothing like Matt. That looks nothing like me. We had a great couple hours here at Epcot. Yeah, we've only been here for like two hours. Yep, but we did the two things that are closing and interventions. Mm -hmm. Sorry, we couldn't show you more. We wanted to, but yeah, that's how it works. They are not camera-friendly attractions, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, if you happen to be a local and you see this vlog on today, which is Tuesday, when it'll go up. Uh, you know, they'll close tomorrow, so you have one more day to do it. Yeah. Um, again, no word of what they're going to put there. I thought it was funny if she said that some of the cast members there are yeah, going to... Yeah, she being a cast member, not me. Yeah, uh, the cast member there said that some of the cast members from the closing attractions are going to Ellen's Energy Adventure, which is also rumored to be closing soon, but not officially announced, so they could just be displacing people to then displace them again. Mm -hmm when that closes, but we'll see. They were cute little attractions though. They were good little yep. doing one times. Yep. I'm not gonna miss them. And then Spaceship Earth and Club Cool are kind of things that we have to do every time we come back. Uh, I wonder if the faces are ever gonna work on Spaceship Earth again. I know, it hasn't worked for a while. So I don't know if it's just certain cars uh, or if it's just that it feature like is no one because it didn't ride. have people going to their homes. True. In the, in the big room, which if you've never been on that ride and you don't know what I'm talking about, that sounds like nonsense. Yep. Most of what we say, yeah. <laughs> if you haven't been here, it sounds like nonsense. So, we had a great day, and we're excited for what we're going to get for you guys next. Thanks for hanging out with us in the park, guys. We'll Bye. see you next time. Bye. Bye. Okay, I'm, I was the best boy and the key grip on Goodfellas 2. I think so. Okay, so.